Hey, how's it going, guys? Eclipso here today on North Saga. Today, we're going to be showcasing you guys the combat because a lot of people were confused about the combat. So, uh, we're just here to showcase you guys the combat of North Saga and what to expect when you uh, play the game. All right, so the way how the combat works in North Saga is pretty simple. The way how we have the combat designed is to be really easy to do and really easy to learn. But if you master like how to do this, like combos and uh, parrying and switch ups, then you could basically become a god at this game and you could take on more than one person. The combat is designed to take on more than one person if you're solo. So if you get really good at this game, trust me, you could play this game solo. But I highly recommend doing, you know, guilds and stuff for other reasons. All right. So this is the sword weapon. Now, each weapon is designed to be completely different on the way how you're supposed to play it you could play it in different ways as well you could be aggressive with each weapon you could be passive with it um but each weapon has its own play style like over here gerald he got the great sword and over here craze got the axe but i got the sword now the sword is like this is like the most simple weapon this one right here now the way how the combat works is we have three different stances the game has its combat designed with stances so right now I'm in the right stance. The weapon is on the right side of my body. So this is right stance. Then I got left stance. You see the weapon is on the left side of my body and I got top stance where the weapons, you know, on top. Now what this means is that if for example, here, uh, Gerald right here, he has his weapon on the right side for me and I have it on the left side. If he were to attack me, while I'm blocking left side, he'll be able to hit me. But if I switch over to the same side as his weapon, so both of our weapons are on the same side of the body, if I were to block, then it actually blocks. So you have to be in the same stances to block a person's uh, attack and also to parry them. There's also parrying in the game. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing in, in the game as well is that if you're in the same stance and you don't have enough stamina to block an attack from a greatsword, you can also clash. So if you're in the same stance and you attack at the same time, then you will clash. All right, ready? Three, two, one, hit. There you go. That's a clash. Damn, that's nice. Yeah. And that's pairing right there. So one thing that you want to keep in mind when you're fighting people in this game is that the game is not designed to be like fast paced combat it's not like yo you go like go crazy you kill someone in like two three hits no the combat is designed to be slow because of the way how the game is designed with its uh punishment it might seem that the combat's like really complex it might be like your first thoughts might be like this combat's too hard they it's it's just too much for roblox but when you start to to play the combat and fight against people and get used to which way you're supposed to block how are you supposed to be using your weapons and fighting and it, it gets really fun and um it's like addicting to just like fight against people yep. like, even without skills or anything it's just like really fun yeah so right now we don't have any skills yet for the weapons so right now we're basically gonna be showcasing the basic combat like this is freshy combat right as you join the game you go and get yourself a weapon this is freshy combat in the game. Now, another thing with the combat is we also got magic in the game, of course. So some of you are like, oh, Norse mythology doesn't have magic. We have Norse mythology stuff in the game, but like it's our, we're trying to like make our own original thing, but it's based off Norse mythology, but we're adding our own stuff to it as well. So basically with the runes is you can find these around the map and they're magic. They do magic. So this right here is a wind spell. So the way how it works is that you have you can have a weapon out or you can have fist or whatever. But the thing is, like, if you have a great sword or any weapon that uses two hands, you're not able to cast runes because you need to use your other hand to be able to cast runes. If Gerald over here were to try to cast a spell and press the middle mouse button, he would not be able to press the middle mouse button to cast a rune. All right. So this right here is a wind spell. Let me go ahead and use it. Now, the way how casting a spell works is you have to use the stance system that's designed with the combat. So most of the combat is going to be based around the stance system. So expect to be using these stance stuff a lot. So let me go ahead and use this real quick. So yeah, it'll be Q. for combat stuff, for other stuff too. Yeah, yeah and other stuff as well. No comment on that though. Yeah, we can't go too, mu too much in detail. All right, so Q, 
E C E Q. I just leaked the spell, but whatever. And then after you use a spell, it's gonna get changed. <laughs> yeah, after you use it, after you did the combination for the rune, then the rune will disappear from your inventory. It will pop out like this, and then the spell will come out and then attack anyone closest to you. So they're right there. So these are tier one spells. Rune magics are gonna be mostly tier one. Unless you're a mage, you could get other tiers. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, well guys, that's pretty much it for the explanation of how the combat system really is. Now it's time for some fights. Let's get it, let's get it. 